weeks. I sort of apologise for not putting any videos up since October. I don't really have a um, reason why I just didn't. So I'm back and I'm going to start and I'm going to try to put a video up every week. Hopefully. If that doesn't work then I'm really sorry. If you should check my Twitter for updates, it'll be down in the info bar. Um, so I want to just point out, my hair is not orange on top, I had it dyed today, it is fully blonde now, I have no more brown roots, but it's this lighting because I'm filming late at night again, so I'm just going to get into it, I'm going to do my January favourites, and then I'm going to start off with hair products. The first one is the, oh, let me get, it's the um, Refresh Me Quick Dry Shampoo from BO5, it smells really nice, it smells really fruity. And what I like about this, it doesn't leave um, like white residue, resi resi uh, white marks in your hair because the best these one did. Let's drop that there. And um, I didn't like that. Plus, I didn't like the smell of the teeth one. But this one's really nice. And it says it's for normal to oily hair. I didn't know you could get oily hair, but apparently you can. Unless that's what they call greasy. But yeah, I really like this. And that's just rambled on for how many seconds? The next is. And shoulders, colour care, um, shampoo because in the winter I get um, dandruff and the last thing I need to do is use normal dandruff shampoo which will strip your colour out of your hair so I use this one, it strips my colour out a bit but not a lot it's not half as bad as um, the normal um, dandruff shampoos do and for, uh, dry, for uh, dandruff shampoo this smells alright actually Normally, when I go to the and it's red and shampoo, I'm like, no, yeah, that smells disgusting, I am not touching that. But this one smells really nice, and it actually works, which is a plus. The next one is, there's a lot of shampoo, by the way, <laughs> it's the uh, Tresemme Colour Thrive Illuminating Blend Shampoo for Natural or Colour Treated Hair. And since I have blonde hair, this is perfect, because I'm fed up with using purple shampoo because when I use it uh, when I wash my hair it looks like I've just killed somebody that has purple blood it gets all over my back and all over the walls and then um, I didn't notice it until I get out and my mum was like did you use your purple shampoo and I was like yes and she's like can you just go clean the bath out it's like a medicine in there and I'm like whoops <laughs> so this is perfect because it does it turn my hair brassy even though it looks like it now but I have explained <laughs> And it keeps my blonde blender for longer, which I love. And I love Tresemme products anyway, because they keep your hair nice and soft. And for when I'm not using the Tresemme or the Head and Shoulders, I have been using the Alberto Balsam, which is just gone all over me, uh, Green Apple Shampoo. And this smells so nice. I could literally sit and smell it all day. Oh, it smells so nice. It's... As it describes, it's just fresh apple, well, uh, juicy green apple, it smells so nice, it leaves your hair so soft, and the smell stays in your hair for a good two, three days after you've washed it. I can, um, I don't wash my hair every day, I wash it like every couple of days, but um, even when my hair's a bit greasy, people could go, oh, what have you washed your hair with? And I'd be like, just green apple shampoo, and they're like, oh, it smells really nice, and I'm like, hey, thank you. Um, move on to makeup now. Next thing I have been loving is the Mag Miss... Okay. Miss Mango Mega Volume from L'Oreal. I'm sad that it's gone up to £8.99 now because I don't think it's worth £8.99. Well, I'm going to use this one and I do really like it, but I think I'm just going to get like the Falsies and Scar again afterwards because it's a bit cheaper. I have been loving the MYC all day long smooth skin foundation lasts up to 14 hours i've never worn this for 14 hours i went for about eight hours or something during the day but the reason i got this it was 3.99 and i was fed up with spending seven eight nine quid on um foundations and finding out that after two three days or two three weeks that they start going orange on my forehead so i was like i'm gonna get a cheap one because if it goes orange then yes i'm going to be miffed but um, I'm not going to be like, oh, I've just wasted all that money. But this one is really good. You don't really need a lot. And I put it on now. I don't really want to get up because of this, just in case I scare you. <laughs> but um, it's really good. And I'm in shade 737 Classic Ivory. And the last makeup thing I have is this Book of uh, Being Chanted. 
Full Moon Stars eyeshadow palette. Now I got this for Christmas, I asked for it. I love the packaging of it, it's so nice. And it's purple, as you can tell, I like purple. And, sorry, my cat's over there. You get five eyeshadows. Sorry, I have a new camera, I'm just going to have to work with it. And you do get a mirror as well. And you do get the applicator thing, but I don't use that. And you get a pink, a purple, a gold colour, a teal colour, and like a yellowy colour. And I'll do a swatch of each. They're not the most brilliant, like, pigmented shadows, but they are really good. And they're so creamy as well. So that's what that looks like. And the last few bits are just like, well, I call them miscellaneous, but I don't really know what category they fall into. So I'm just going to shoot. Well, this is a clothing item anyway. And look, perfectly so yes, I love it. If, this was supposed to be for Christmas, but my mum gave it to me earlier, which I absolutely thank her for. It's got like leopard print in there and the ear. It smells so nice as hell. <laughs> and then it has either a leopard or a cat. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but either way, I love it because I love cats. As you can tell, because I have a cat over there. And if you watch some of my earlier videos, Milo features in them. And I'll just do a thing. It looks humongous, but actually it is humongous because my arms don't even fit out of the sleeves, they're like clumped up out there. But I love hoodies that are really big because so you can just cosy up in them when it's really cold and wintery. But I absolutely love it. The next thing is my glasses. Now I got these October, I want to say, November 10. But I have a love hate relationship with my glasses. I love them for about two weeks, two, three weeks, and then. I'd be like, I want some more glasses. I don't like these ones. But recently, because I've been getting headaches and everything again, I've been having to wear them. And I kind of think they look alright. I'll do the old thing of putting them on. There we go. I mean, they're not really what I like, but um, they were just because. And I do like, well, I do and I don't like it. I'm really going to fix myself. They are FCUK. And the brownie rose goldy colour and I got a spec safe as if anybody's wondering oh and they were £99 and I checked on the website the other night they still have them if you want them and this is my lip she always wants to come into the video whenever I'm filming so I'm just going to leave that and the last thing I have been loving won't pretend is my iPhone oh there we go <laughs> I have the iPhone 5S in silver and the amount of trouble that my mum went through to get me this from O2. Long story short, I finally have it, but four weeks of waiting. So it just popped up on the screen. So I finally have it and I absolutely love it. I just need I haven't even synced anything onto it yet. I'm like, do you want to? Because I've already got my iPod synced onto my laptop, so I'm like Will that work if I put this on or will it take everything off? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. Um, so that's it for my January favourites. Like I said, all my links will be down below. You should follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll link my previous video below. And that's it. Bye.